I got a patron request from Ms. Zombie Blaster to review the Adam Sandler comedy Grown Ups. This movie seems to primarily function as a reunion for the Saturday Night Live alumni from the early 90s, offering an opportunity for Sandler, Chris Rock, Rob Schneider, and David Spade to riff together, with Kevin James playing a role that likely would have been filled by Chris Farley. I can understand the desire to make a comedy like this. It's not a very plot-heavy film, but it's meant to be a hangout movie, and those are not reliant on story, and that's okay. The question becomes whether it's funny. Well, I did not find myself laughing all that much during Grown Ups. A few of Sandler's one-liners did get a chuckle out of me, I will admit, and I also found the famous chocolate-wasted joke to be quite funny. According to Sandler, it was Cameron Boyce who plays his son in the movie that came up with that line. I also found Sandler's motivation and entire reason for wanting to spend time at the cabin and outdoors with his family to be a good one, as he sees the effect on his children being spoiled by their rich lifestyle and wanting to reverse that. His arc throughout the film of trying to prove his successful Hollywood agent life has not turned him elitist is explored in an okay manner. The other characters all just have one defining trait that the movie exploits for many tired running jokes. Kevin James likes food, and they continually remind you of this over and over again. David Spade plays a womanizer, and they beat you over the head about that. Rob Schneider is the quirky one, although it is interesting that he's the one the other characters seem to tolerate the least, and Schneider is the only main actor not to return in the sequel. If you were to ask me who I think is the funniest person from the main cast for their work outside of this movie, it would definitely be Chris Rock who I think is a brilliant stand-up comedian, and he's been funny in a number of films over the years. However, in Grown Ups, he's given barely anything to do, as he mostly stands around and waits to interject a line here and there. And most of the jokes he does say primarily involve making fun of his mother-in-law. Their wives are similarly written with not many strong personality traits. Sama Hayek mostly rolls her eyes at Sandler, Maya Rudolph occasionally pipes in to laugh at someone's joke or one of her own, and the main joke with Maria Bello is that she constantly breastfeeds her four-year-old son. I did not find that bit particularly amusing the first time they did it, but the filmmakers certainly did, as they keep returning back to it on multiple occasions. I noticed in the end credits that Norm MacDonald was in Grown Ups, and I immediately thought, wait, where was he? It turned out he originally had a significant role, but it was eventually cut down to a few seconds. I sure hope they informed him before he attended the premiere. As expected from a comedy starring Adam Sandler, there's a lot of emphasis on toilet humor, with your fair share of urine and fart jokes, none of which I found myself laughing at. A lot of the film consists of easy gags with not much sophistication. The movie eventually just turns into a random assortment of scenes, with occasional moments to tie the plot together. The editing was particularly strange, as scenes will just stop and then we cut to the characters in a completely different location on another day. Even the way Grown Ups ends was rather odd and abrupt. When the end credits started rolling, I thought, wait, that's the note you're leaving us on? A lot of people do look at Grown Ups as an example of Adam Sandler just producing a movie so he can go on vacation with his friends, like a number of other Happy Madison productions over the years. And yes, I imagine that plays a role in coming up with a story like this. However, I also get the sense from Sandler and people who talk about working with him that he just likes getting the opportunity to collaborate with his SNL buddies, other actors he admires, and directors he's cordial with, like Dennis Dugan and Stephen Brill. Sony used to give him a blank check to do that, and now Netflix is allowing him the chance to continue to produce silly comedies for them. And I actually don't see the problem with that, as he has made a lot of people laugh and brought a lot of joy to viewers throughout his career. That also has not stopped him from starring in other sorts of films, like Uncut Gems and the upcoming drama Spaceman. Was Grown Ups my cup of tea? No. But I don't begrudge Sandler for making it, and I hope he had a fun time coming up with goofy jokes of his friends and collaborators. Have you seen Grown Ups? Let me know what you think of it in the comments, and thank you for the quest, Miss Zombie Blaster.